nice and, and rats normally then get up in grand because it's, they can't get up there. Mm -hmm. They have to get on curtains or something and then jump over. Well, anyhow, the uprights, they crawl up underneath the pedal there mm -hmm. and cram up that angle bass string gets up there wow. and do their dance. Now, they can't go in the grands then. Because, yeah, because if you look at an upright, it has that area where they can hide, right, on the, the base of the upright. Is that what you're talking about, that they can get up that area, the rats? See, uh, rats, well, if rats, now you don't see many rats in uprights either because uh -huh. th they have to get in underneath that pedal. Right. right. They get underneath and then, uh, and not all of them can do that either, it's just the way the piano's made. But anyhow, then they crawl up this angle, they string the mice. Mm -hmm. Then they get up there and then, oh, I mean, they're in heaven. Wow. Yeah, they, they do and now you've been got rid of some of them mice? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. I always recommend uh, uh, every piano I tune to put decal in there. Automatically? You tell them to, to do that as a sort of preventive, preventative measure? Yeah. What happens is that, uh, see, the decon, the mice loves it. Mm -hmm. They just gobble it down, just fill up. <laughs> well, it makes them thirsty. Oh, the poor then things. Then they get out of there and looking for water. Well, that gets them out of the piano. Mm. Used to, they'd die of the piano. Mm. Uh, you know, it's on a trap. Now, well, you mentioned them cloves. You, you said the cloves were moths and some lady sprinkled the cloves in the dark. Well. <laughs> and then when she got it up, she says something about the clove powder. What was the story? Oh, well, I don't know. This is, she called you in the middle of the night because of the, the clove powder that was spread on the... No, it was the moth balls she put in there. Oh. And, uh, but I, I, I hadn't run into clothes. See, I've been on about clothes for about 10 years, really. Mm -hmm. I ran into that in, in a paper. Oh, you read it in a paper? I read it in a newspaper, mm -hmm. and I said, well, heck, that old working pianos, too. And mothballs are so sticky. Yeah. You know, like those, but they're very good. Well, they're kind of toxic because oh, you yeah, put them yeah, in it, make, it makes you sick. It makes you sick. I was telling our, our clothes phones at one time. They're sick, and boy, I had to get it out of there. You can't get that out of there either once you get it in there for mm -hmm. a while. Oh, wow. It's got to yeah, the smell, the smell. As a kid, I always remember mothballs. It was like really detestable. Oh, smell. cloves. Uh, <clears throat> now, you can put the cloves in there yourself. Uh, it's clove powder, right? You, it make, powder. you pulverize it. Yeah, it's just, it, it, you sprinkle it. Do you put it between the keys, Mr. Young? You can put it anywhere, anywhere that the smell. Eyes. You know. So what's the danger of moths to pianos? What is the real risk of Well, a see, a piano is about uh, roughly uh, 35, 30% uh, 30 wool hammers. Uh, by the way, I brought you a hammer, too. Oh. With a, does it have a moth hole in it? Does it have a moth hole in it, like the one I've seen before? Oh, uh, you probably, I probably saw one that I had had to re replace. Right, you had, I took a picture. With yeah, them. they, 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 the moth, see, they, that's their thing. It's, it looks like filet mignon, isn't that how you described it? The, 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 the felt is like filet mignon for the moths? Yeah, yeah, well, they love it. I, I don't know. I guess I guess it must be type of their food or age and digestion. I don't know. I can't find anybody that knows, really, why they love, like uh, felt wool. But you see, with the 30% in a piano that's wool, well, that's they can find that ball. They, they can find it. I don't know how to do it, but they find wool. What about that story about the cat that was caught in the piano? Oh, my Lord. Ooh, that was terrible. That was right the opposite. Well, these people, uh, they were farmers they, at that time, uh, uh, had a cat that loved to get up on the piano. Well, they decided that that uh, the cat loved it so well, they just built her a little pad up there to lay it. Inside the piano. Inside the piano. Grand, was this a grand piano? A grand piano. Lord, I told them, I said, well, the heat from the cat will knock your piano out of tune. Well, I said, we love the little cat so much. So, anyhow, 
We were trying to argue about that part, but anyhow, I don't know, it was, it wasn't too long after I tilled it, a uh, uh, lady called and said, say, Mr. York said, uh, Mr. So-and-so, I can't even remember the name, the Italian name, uh, over, is over on the coast, and on a Friday when they left, they closed the lid, the piano and the cat was in there. Now, had you known that, or was... No. Not yet? Not yet, until this maid, she went to work Monday, and... Uh, found it. And uh, so she called him and they said, well, call Mr. York. He can see what he can do. Now, how did they figure out that the cat was trapped under that uh, thing there, under the lid? <laughs> then they just closed it. No, so, so it was closed and then the maid came to clean Money. and she, how did she, did she suspect well, something was going I on? I guess she heard the cat going on or could smell it. Oh, it, kept, it smelled terrible. Even with the lid closed. <laughs> with the lid closed, closed it, it didn't yeah, did yeah. encapsulate yeah. the smell. Cats in there had to go somewhere and it, it ruined the bay stream. So she basically opened up the lid and found the cat or did you open the no, lid? No, she did. No, she opened it up. She had it open and was cleaning the lid when I got there. But, uh -huh. So uh, what did the cat look like? I don't know, but I... I was it was it all like was the hair all oh middle oh, oh the hair of the yeah, cat yeah. oh no oh, I thought you meant before well anyhow no he had, he didn't have any hair from from he being in there. male and he didn't <laughs> have any hair on his body anywhere not even my lids <laughs> <laughs> but that was because he got his hair thrashed in the, he in the strings was trying right? to get out and oh, just right. pulled it off in the dampers now they were all i mean you never saw such a mess in all your life i didn't try to stay straight straighten them i bought oh, just bought new ones but you told me the cat had done his business in that oh several times <laughs> and just all over oh she had a lot of that cleaned by the time i got there but it, it was still a mess who had to clean up that mess inside that that piano. I had to finish. So what, what did you replace? What what type of, of replacements were required? Well, I had to replace the uh, hammer, uh, damper stems and uh, the metal. <clears throat> and because uh, they were so crooked, they were just twisted and it's been impossible to straighten them out and it worked. Then I had to replace all the bass strings to put in the bass string. Wow. And uh, the uh, treble strings, we cleaned them off. Uh, there were spots worse than other, but it was it was terrible. Actually, technically, it, it ruined the piano in a way, but they didn't want to replace it. What about the soundboard? That wouldn't have been near, anywhere near the cat, would it? Some got on it. <laughs> some some poop and stuff yeah. got on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And um, so was the cat okay in the last analysis? I don't know. The cat the cat survived that. That ordeal? <laughs> yeah, it, I didn't. I just saw it in the distance. I didn't. I didn't fool around until that lady had messed on me. Oh, now I, I'm going to give you this. Uh, You're going to show that to us with this here. Yeah, I'll show you that. Which one? This or this? The, the metal one there. Yeah, that's called a soundboard steel. Mm -hmm. so hold that up to the camera. Okay. So. And uh, this is what you call a soundboard steel. You clean it underneath the street. Oh, I see. On the grand piano. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, I say you want to share it. All right. And you can do your own. Oh, own. neat. Yeah. Oh, that's how you get under there and get the dust. You put like a little chamois on that yeah, thing? Yeah, I've, I've, I've got that. Oh, but man. Got that. Oh, I've got a, a lot of Because everybody that. complains they can't reach those places in a piano. Oh, no, you can't. you got to have something like that. Yeah, see well, that? That's amazing. But anyhow, they weren't. My grandpa would never see one of those. Mm -hmm. He died before that. Now, what was going on with the cussing in the in the shop? Oh, 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 oh. And what your grand, what your mom do? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> well, anyhow, uh, she asked me if Grandpa said any bad words. I said yes, he did. And uh, then she said, "What did he say?" And I told her, "Just the boy, and that was bad. I I I wouldn't even say it to you." You said it to Too her. Too bad. Did I tell you what? I think you did. I, might I put it in one of my writings. Then she gave me a paddle. I mean, because she recited paddle. the words that I told you know. after I told her. Then she gave me a paddle. And uh, 
but the good one, I mean, then she hit me several times. <laughs> what did she expect you to do? I don't know. No, no. But, uh, you had to tell the truth, right? I told mother later, I said, Mom, I said, you made a liar out of me. He said, I couldn't tell you anymore what he said, but he used to say his bad words all the time, and I was afraid to tell you. <laughs> did she let you go back to the shop after that to, to keep helping Grandpa? Oh, yeah. She said oh, it was still yeah, okay? I, yeah, I did. You know, in those days, uh, Grandpa pretty well ruled the roost. But I say, you know, I had people had more respect for the grandparents. For real, than yeah. Then. And so my parents, uh, uh, I was, he was, I was his to do whatever they say. Partly raised you then. Didn't you milk the cows, Mr. York? I did. Oh, I, th I think you told me in one of the writings I, I wrote that you were really got, it hurt your hands after a while. Well, some new cows. I, I, that's why I hit a cow. I yeah. just didn't want to get messed up and then yeah. switch you with the tail and it would be Oh, dirty. you told me you were switching with the tail. Oh, yeah. See, the cows, that's how they keep flies away, so they just automatically switch it all the time. Did you ever get belted by one of them tails? I got kicked one. You got kicked one. <laughs> kicked the thunder out of me. Now, your grandpa, I mean, your, your grandpa, who was the tuner, yeah. he combined farming with piano tuning. Yeah, he was. Did he have a shop? Oh, yeah. He had oh, a shop, yeah, he so had a, he had a yeah. shop like on the main street or something like yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. Now, when we moved to Arizona, uh, Granddad had a shop downtown. Yeah. The only one. Did he sell pianos too? Did he? Did he sell pianos that he put any kind of work into, or yeah. that he got like people brought in used pianos or whatever? You gave people, him some money for it, or yeah. Now, <clears throat> people were on the move. Uh, they uh, had come in from Arkansas and Oklahoma, and uh, they had uh, keep moving west, and uh, they maybe lived there couple of years or so or so. But a lot of times I've heard people come in and say, Alfred, we're moving, we're not gonna move out old heavy piano anymore. And uh, if you want it, go get it. And he'd go get them and heck, they'd be good, good piano. I've heard that you have to have so many, I forget, a hundred tunings before you really feel that you're getting just to the- Every bit of the, it. The, you know. Yeah. And, and you're always learning things, Shirley, mm -hmm. because, of, well, it's not exactly learning, it's, it's different. How do you feel about the, the, this change in the climate of, you know, the acoustical, you know, the way the way the stores are closed? We've lost three stores here in a couple of years. We lost uh, California Piano in Clovis, then we lost, um, we're losing Fresno Piano, and then Visalia Piano Gallery went bit the dust. Too. Yeah, there's nothing down there. So there's three that, that just, you know, went under in the space of a quarter well, that outfit years. there in Visalia, I can see how they went broke. My gosh, you'd go in there and they'd all be sitting up there and nobody knew she was there. Yeah, that was a Petrov. He had a lot of Petrov pianos there. Yeah. He had the Czechoslovakian yeah. piano. Yeah. Kind of more exotic pianos that were very pricey. Of course, at 84, you see a lot in life. Yeah, you're 84. Yeah. Why, uh, that's something else. So far, my mind has been good, my doctor. Your mind is sharp my, as could be. My doctor told me, but you know what? Music has done that, Shirley. I believe that. I believe uh, that yeah. people that, you know, you know, occupy themselves learning music, you know, piano, whatever, it keeps you I'm sharp. I'm a firm believer. Because, see, yeah. you, yeah. Uh, now, like when we get together, we talk piano. Right. I love it. And it encourages me, me uh, that I, I run on somebody that's interested in piano. <laughs> so. Uh, that gets you going. Yeah. I, I, I enjoy it very much. Because, uh, I learn things, and you learn things if you're 150 years old. You bet. If you want to, and you could. You bet. So, keep it up. Waltz in Matilda. Come here, Waltz and Matilda with me And his ghost may be heard As you pass by that billabong You'll come here, Waltz and Matilda